All right, Halos, welcome back to the, sh the channel. Uh, we are going to be playing Hogwarts Legacy today. Um, I did a bunch of stuff, and we're going to be... We, like, got all our sorting hat stuff done, and our uh, our house, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's jump into it. So, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and uh, Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Okay. Term begins on 1st of, Se 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliezer Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley. M. Weasley, okay. Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Okay, let's start the game. All right, uh, all right, let's, let's get into it. Man, it looks so clean, actually, I like it. Uh, but yeah, we are going to have to create a character so here we go um i'm assuming these are preset characters is that is that the case yeah i think they're preset characters which honestly these these really don't look that bad um we could rock with one of these but i think i'm gonna go ahead and customize mine a little bit um i are i can't remember if these uh characters are like used in the game uh for like in-game cutscenes and stuff like that so yeah, but we've got a bunch of different ones here for sure. So I'm gonna kind of quickly go through them all. Um, yeah, I don't know. These all look really good, but uh, I think we'll we'll rock with one of these and kind of mess around with it a little bit. Uh, face shape. All right, we got skin color. Uh, I can go like all dark. Oh wow, that's real light. real dark. That's real white. Um, let's see. Oh, we got like different shades and stuff as well. Okay. Interesting. I guess we do like right around there somewhere. Uh, glasses. We could put glasses on, but no, I don't think we're gonna put glasses on. Uh, face shape. All right. So this is the normal one. That's kind of outward. That's oh, that's kind of snide. It kind of looks kind of cool actually though. Not gonna lie. Uh, alright. Face shape. I'm sh we could probably customize this even more if we wanted to, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know, honestly. There's a lot of good options. I guess we'll just roll with this one for now. Um, I'm not gonna be like super deep into uh, changing this because that's gonna take like hours if I w wanted to. But no, we'll, we'll do that. Anyways, uh, hair color. All right, we got all these different hair colors. Let's see what we got. We have any really weird ones, like blue or something? Yep, we got like purple. <laughs> nice. That's interesting. Is that pink? Can't really tell. Cotton candy. That's probably pink. All right. Anyways, um, yeah, let's do a normal one. Um, I don't really want it super dark, but I also don't want it like really bright blonde. What color is this? You know, sometimes I wish I wasn't super color, I wasn't like colorblind. Uh, I'm not completely colorblind, but, but I am a little bit. I guess we'll just roll, rock with this for now. Um, that one's not too bad. I'm assuming that's brownish. If it isn't, then my bad. Uh, anyways, um, it's not a bad hair hairstyle, honestly, already. What else we got? We got lots of choices, though. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> it's not bad, actually. Uh, honestly, a lot of these are really good. Oh, that one's pretty good, too. I like it, I like it. Alright, um, let's see what else we got. Obviously, we have all the girl ones as well. We're, we're gonna be doing a boy character this time around, but, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe in the future we'll do, like, a, a female character. That'd be kind of cool. Either way, okay, it looks like this is just about it. I'm just kind of going through them real quick so you guys can see, and so I can see as well. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad. Got the curls as well. So yeah, I think 
This isn't too bad either. It's between this one, this one, and... Is it this? Yeah, this one. I think we'll rock with this one, actually. It looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, moving on. Complexion. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we have? Interesting. I guess just normal. No complexion. Uh, freckles and moles. I don't really like moles, to be honest. That's for sure. No, don't want tons of freckles. I'll do like maybe some light freckles. That'll be good. Th nothing crazy. Uh, scars and markings. We don't really need this, but it's kind of cool looking, I guess. Just to render in for a second. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. I kind of like that one, actually. Through the eye a little bit. I mean, we could do this. No, we're just gonna do normal. We're just gonna do normal. We're not. Nothing crazy happened to us. All right, eyebrows. I color. Okay. Uh, if there's a blue, I do like blue. Obviously, most people do. Uh, okay, we've got a few options here. There's that, which I can't tell if it's blue or purple or what. Uh, it's like more of a filled-in one, not quite as light as this one. And then there's these over here that are like full blue, kind of. I think I think I like that one. Yeah, let's go with this one. Uh, eyebrow color. We want to match the other color of hair if we can. Maybe like maybe that. Hold on. Let me go back to my uh, my hair color. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 10, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, perfect, yep, that's the right one. All right, we got eyebrow shapes here as well, okay. Oh, I didn't realize what the f what I was defaulted to, actually. That's kind of nice, nothing, I don't need like super bushy ones. Um. <laughs> that kind of changes everything. The different shape as well. The unibrow, no thanks. No eyebrows like Doctor Who. <laughs> Matt Holm. Um, I'll probably just do this one. I think that one's pretty good. Alright, uh, what is this? Finalize your character. Okay, sweet. Oh, we can choose our voice tone, okay. That was quite something. Don't want that. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really... I am indeed a student. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to... A few cobwebs and some dust. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Oh, uh, that sounds alright, I guess. Um, let's see. Honestly, uh, normal is what most people would go for. I don't usually tend to go very hard on difficulty, but um, <clears throat> usually I go more of the easy side, but since there's a story mode, uh, that's honestly what I mostly care about. I would care about the story and having fun. That's what I play games for, <laughs> generally speaking. Um, but Obviously, if you guys want to see a harder difficulty, me trying that maybe after I go through the first time of the go through the game the first time, uh, basically, the story, um, then I can change it up, and maybe you can change this later, I'm not sure, honestly, honestly, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, focus on story with minimal gameplay challenge, name your character, alright, oh, shoot, I am terrible at names, I wish there was a randomizer here, oh, my gosh, I don't know, dude, um, let me think real quick. I should have thought of this ahead of time. I didn't realize I was going to have me name him, though. I guess that makes sense. But, uh, yeah. Shoot, I don't know. Let me think real quick. I like Storm. Storm is pretty cool. Storm something or other. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <coughs> Uh, 
Um, thunder. Uh, I don't know, dude. Let's do like. Hmm. Hmm. James. Storm. Crown. There you go. Perfect. Uh, and then I guess you're gonna be was witch or wizard. Um, it says choice will determine your player character's dormitory. All right, let's jump into it. Um, yeah, I guess James Storm Crown. There we go. Sounds good. <laughs> It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Interesting, interesting. Can't see the, the horses or whatever. Oh, what the... That was unnatural. Alright, Wilderman Brothers Games. Thank you for letting me play your game. traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. 
I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. That was a close call. Holy cow. What a way to start. <laughs> oh, so cute. Are you alright? You're hurt. Oh. Perhaps a bit. Help her. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Alright, G to heal. Just press it? Looks like just press it, yeah. No holding down or anything. Wigan Weld Potion. <laughs> Assuming that I said that what right. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Oh, this feels so smooth. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Um, actually, really fast, let me um, turn on V-Sync, which is something I almost never do. Uh, just because it looks like it is... Um, it is doing a little bit of screen tearing, so I think that would probably be a smart idea. So I am for w this one's gonna <laughs> turn that up. Also, let me um, let me do balanced a little bit just to see if that helps uh, at all. Um, it seems to be pretty smooth, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we should just go back actually. Because uh, it did an automatic benchmark when I first started the game. Actually, it's not much difference. Alright, well, we got some stuff here. It doesn't look like we can interact with it yet, though. I guess we're just walking. Uh, I don't really know what any sprint buttons are or anything, but I'm sure they'll let us know when we need to know. Quite bright out here, though. Kind of reminds me of a tomb reader. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. Yeah. And sure. I believe that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. All right, let's do it. All right, quest started the path. Mind your step. Thank you. I will try. Where do you suppose your wife got the pool key that brought us here? A good question. 
Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. All right. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Ah, yes. So it is. <clears throat> but sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. What is this? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Okay, here Focus we go. Focus on the center. Tap left click to perform a basic cast. <laughs> kind of like a quick attack. <clears throat> Use your camera to select an active target. Okay. Gotcha. Oops. Hope I didn't there. No, we're good. You were just we're sliding down some rocks that real fast. Was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Indeed, indeed. Oh, hello. Looks like I can destroy these. I if it's worth it. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Destroy them just for fun. <laughs> I didn't know if there's anything in them or not. I was hoping. Evidently not, though. Ah! Up there! Hmm. Wonder if I could have taken out the birds. Okay, is there anything over here? I don't know if there's any like bonus stuff uh, that you can find. But this is clear. Yeah, ha! <laughs> Let's go. 61 crowns or something or other. Some kind of look at the scenery though. Pretty nice. Not even gonna lie. Can I hit that bird? I mean, I probably shouldn't give a try, but there you go. There's a pot down there I missed. Alright, yeah, I think we got everything. Unless I missed something above us. Alright, let's head over to Professor Fig. We're close now, it's just ahead. Alright. It definitely reminds me of Storm, uh, Tomb Raider. Steady yourself! Repair them! I thought we were just gonna like, teleport across or something. I guess when we grabbed the port key, it teleported us here. So that would make sense. Almost there! Privacy. That port can let us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Depends on what you mean by out of place, I guess, because this could be out of place, but it seems like normal. Okay, mini map shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press and hold V to toggle quest objective details. Alright. Sounds good. Oh, we can investigate this actually. like it wants us to go around there. Let's investigate this real quick, though. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. 
may have been. Uh, is there anything interesting over here? Yes, there is. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right. Well, uh, I think that's about it for this area of route investigation. Let's uh, let's head on around back. Pretty interesting looking place though, for sure. Um. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, we will continue in the next part. I appreciate everyone uh, sticking through the video, and I hope to do more of this game for sure. Um, just leave a like if uh, you want to see a like, a like and a comment, honestly, uh, but especially a like um, if you want to see uh, more of this game. So let me know. Catch you guys later. Peace.